Hi, Leo. Welcome in to your reading. We're reading for the first week of May. Welcome in, welcome in. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I have not been doing Leo readings for long. I've just started to. I've been mainly an Aries and a Taurus reader. You can go over there and see those as well. Um, but now I'm going to be doing Leo readings every Sunday. Please leave me your comments down below if you like the content or not. Um, but believe it or not, leaving comments down below helps the channel grow. All right. And I'm going to be doing it for the next three months. And if I can't grow your cohort, we're going to shift to another one because I have limited time. All right. Let's see what the situation is for the first week of May. I wish I can actually do this full time. That I can't. Ugh, too many projects. By the way, Mercury just went into retrograde. What does that mean for you? And for the next four weeks. For you guys, you actually, believe it or not, you guys will be at the top of your game for the next four weeks. The sun is in a position for you and, and, and your, your cohort, Leo, where you're going to be shining like a bright star, especially to your bosses, to family, friends, etc. You're going to have immense influence over people. So do take advantage the next four weeks in regards to that. As far as your situation is starting you off in May, you have the Page of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands, and the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. All right, so there's an opportunity here for some of you guys um, with someone or something. Someone is a lover, a person, a, a mate, your partner, whatever. You started something and it has potential. Um, if it's not love related and it's work related, this is something where you're either going back to school or you're learning something, you're taking a seminar or you're at the bottom of a new position and you're learning to grow in that position. However, I do have two sevens here. The one card is resisting or defending thyself. And the other card is the seven of, seven of pentacles in reverse, letting go of an investment into someone or something okay somebody here could be resisting this connection and now you've hit a stale wall like a brick wall and it's stagnated it's not going any further somebody's like just walking away from self-invested interest in a relationship or a project job whatever it is these are just general readings guys please take them as they resonate and two let me put all the cards down so i can give you a common thread uh, in your reading also uh, when we clarify this is when we get details so stick with me here's another seven so for me this is shocking to see three sevens off the bat you're in this place of um, contemplation you're pausing and you're reflecting because that's what sevens are to me this moreover if you look at this card she's trying to see which option is the best option for her her being her in the card whether you're male or female this is you you're trying to decide you're pausing you're reflecting and you're trying to see what's worth your time what's worth your value all right what's coming towards my leo wow ten of cups that's awesome and six of swords not so awesome spoke too soon here you are in a happy relationship with somebody, a happy couple here with someone. If it's not that, then this is your work environment, you know, in a happy place where everyone is, you know, stupid happy here. These are your cups. This is their cups. Six of Swords. But somebody is walking away or just moving on. I don't know how this affects you and this person or this environment situation. We're going to see when we clarify. But the Six of Swords for me is somebody who's mentally disengaging from the situation. They're mentally leaving something behind. So we'll see what that is. And the reason you're doing this is because you're trying to find your peace, your tranquility. You're trying to recenter yourself. And there you are underneath that deck, which is the Sun card. And under that is the Wheel of Fortune. And under that is the Three of Swords. These are three major arcanas at the bottom of the deck. You're trying to recenter yourself because you just found peace um you recentered yourself you recalibrated your inner compass to point you to your true north why did you do that you probably had suffered some recent pain and that pain had put you in this place where you needed to rebalance yourself okay and now the universe gave you some luck i say the universe gave you some luck because here it is the wheel of fortune 
brought something happy to you and it brought you back some peace within you. And now here you are in this pause reflect situation, continuing. So you're mentally disengaging from something that had hurt you from your past. Now, of course, it doesn't mean you're breaking apart from your partner or your happy environment, but you're leaving something negative behind you. Now, what doesn't Leo see coming their way? This is just a weekly reading, guys. This is just the first week of May. It's not an overall outcome of your life. <laughs> but this is why we use Tarot. We use Tarot to mitigate our issues, our problems, or to understand them so we know how to fix them. Okay, now, Three of Cups. Some of you are having a reconciliation. Others of you are celebrating some kind of good news. Others of you are being invited to something. And on the most simplest of level, this is you going out with a network of friends or you're dating if you're single and you're having drinks. Simple enough. Now, if this is a third party situation, um, it's pretty bad because there's the tower at the bottom of the deck. There was a big fight, a big collapse over the, the situation. But at the end of the day, it just makes me feel, Leo, that you're going to come out the victor in all of this. Because if this was in reverse, I'd be like, ooh, pretty shitty. But it's upright, which tells me you're the victor of this whole situation. Can I have one more for what they don't see coming? Because you're thinking in your mind something else completely. All right? Four of Wands. You're the one that's going to win in this situation. You're the one that's going to be celebrating something here. Some of you are even getting engaged. Some of you are leveling up in a relationship. Some of you are buying a house together. Some of you are moving in. Others of you are just doing something where you're structuring your situation and you're upgrading in life with this person. You probably don't even see this happening to you. You go from one situation and poof, you've upgraded at Insta thinking it wasn't going to happen that way. And I think what happens or what the catalyst is here for you, Leo, is you. It's, it's your mind that you recalibrated it somehow. You found that center. You found that balance to point you in your true north. You found your direction. And you mentally disengaged from something that was negative or something that was hurting you. And it's put you in this position to go in your right direction. Let's see what your advice is. Not that you need any because it looks like you're being all badass on your own what's the advice here for leo yeah the only thing you need to do leo right now is get out of your own head okay because look at this hot mess in this card this is what's going on in your head i'm going to pause you for a second because i want to grab the card from the floor actually i'll just Nine of Swords in reverse. Okay. Yeah, you really need to get out of your head. You're stressing and you're having anxiety and having sleepless nights for no reason. Spirit's like everything's a-okay. All right? It's saying you, for some of you, yes, you do need to sacrifice something. You need to have your bittersweet moment. You're losing something, but you're gaining something else. But in your advice position, this is saying stop fighting with yourself in your own mind because these two cards are swords and swords in tarot represent something that's mental, mental distress. All right. Mental anxiety. So your advice is to get out of your own way, to get out of your head. You don't need to have anxiety. You don't need to have sleepless nights. We're going to clarify and we'll see what else it's saying, because you know why you're getting all of this. Here's another air card. Um, justice, which is Libra energy. You have something that came back to you or something that was karmically corrected and karmically correct for you. Okay, let's see what the outcome is here. What's the outcome, please? There's a person in the cross position. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius does not have to be, but this is somebody very smart, cerebral, fair, honest, but they're in a cross position. I see why. Here's a Gemini energy. Lover. Six of Pentacles being breadcrumbed. Death, something ending. Six of Cups, something from the past. Two sixes. All right, so you're being challenged here in your week by somebody that was breadcrumbing you. The only reason people breadcrumb us, or if you're doing this, Leo, you know, um, is to keep them in their environment until they figure out what they want or what they need. They're not certain of you. 
okay or uh, this is the reason why people do the breadcrumbing they're not sure so they keep you around they give you just enough so you don't leave so they can figure out what they want or who they want and in the interim they dangle a little piece of something for you to stick around and that's the problem with lovers lovers is a choice it is a decision the problem with lovers is you are so profoundly connected you will never forget each other for as long as you live not you not them ever uh the thing with lovers also though is unfortunately your external environments affect the decision making process between the two of you your history your past your love battle scars um looking into your future how will it look how will it be all these questions is what affects the decision making of a lover and it shouldn't be that way and i don't know if i brought this up to you but there was this tv show on netflix called blue maestro i think i might have brought it up where it was this 18 year old who fell in love with her music teacher who was in his 40s and he kept resisting her but they did they were lovers they had profound connection it wasn't just that they had this massive age, age gap uh it was that she had a clean slate in front of her she wasn't scarred by anything her her future just was bright and the only thing she saw before her was just love she saw that they had everything in common that they were very compatible they loved the same music they read the same books they enjoyed the downtime the same way they loved the conversations that they would have that's all she saw she saw that he saw the age gap he saw how he got hurt in the past he saw that he had a family that he lost a family and he didn't couldn't see how it could work between the two of them he couldn't see what she saw which was their connection and that's the problem with lovers we have a problem with and this is what i'm saying this whole story is because you have a problem with this lover this is the challenge with this lover making this choice the both of you together okay and it's somebody from your past that there was only breadcrumbs and that's why in your beginning position what's your situation is this page of pentacles because it was something that had potential it had growth it can grow on the vine or die in the vine it is your choices but it died now sure it can die but can it also transform it can be like a phoenix growing out of the dust in from the ashes into something far more beautiful but you need to connect it so i don't know if we have person a over here and person b for some of you others of you it's just one person and this is your dynamic the bottom of the deck is the sun so at the end of the day this makes me feel happy because even though this is your card leo this is what's coming towards you this is down the pike this is months from now weeks from now who knows that's what the bottom of the deck represents and under that is somebody is giving you a second chance here with somebody the fates are working on your behalf to make you happy this two cards together is very powerful all right you have to understand that this card is the happiest card in the deck why is it the happiest card in the deck because this is the one feature that human beings strive for in their life however they get it whatever it means to them whatever abundance is to them this is you and this is how you want to feel and this is coming all right so now we're going to go clarify everything and see what goes on this is an intense reading leo really intense please definitely leave me your comments down below the one good thing is i have not seen the fucking devil <laughs> excuse my french i got a little excited i pause when airplanes go by i don't want you to hear these things sorry about that this is my temporary station i'm shifting next week because i'm remodeling another room and i couldn't be in that room but anyway that's where we're going less noise so what is the page of pentacles the seven of wands and the seven of pentacles in reverse before i continue i just want to see the multiple patterns that i'm seeing here under regular spread you have a bunch of sixes and you have a bunch of sevens so it makes me feel for most of you leos you've hit this brick wall you've hit the hard road you already went through your tribes tribulations your blocks your obstacles you're on the other side of the fence which is the sixes but you're starting to reflect on those things as i said earlier 
and you're moving on. And now that you have, you're also in the sevens where you're pausing and reflecting on everything. But you know you're onward and upward motion. In your situation with this page of pentacles, this person has come back to you or somebody here that you desire is in your is before you because they're your wish desire, your personal wish desire. The hangman and you it's going to put you in this pause and reflect because you're in this hung position. You're trying to see something from a different perspective. You're trying to see if this person's emotionally available now. You want to see if they're going to be emotionally mature to handle all the things that there is to handle in regards to a relationship and love with you. Let's continue and see what the Six of Swords is and the Ten of Swords, Ten of Cups. Nine of Swords. Yeah, you're having sleepless nights. You're having anxiety and you're stressing out and you're trying to detach from it. You really are trying hard to detach from whatever it is that's in your mind in regards to this situation that's been plaguing you here with this person. And you're trying to move forward. You're trying to move forward cautiously, slowly, optimistically. This is from something that had left you out in the cold and that you healed from it. So I don't know if your person has come back and now you're trying to just not think about the past or what was done to you. Um, but this is what you're ruminating over. Uh, what you don't see coming is a happy reunion, a reconciliation, a, 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 some sort of upgrade in your situation. What's the three of cups and the four of wands? This combination is excellent. This is definitely a reconciliation or some sort of engagement or an invitation to a wedding of some kind king of pentacles a hundred percent a hundred percent all right interesting you are dealing with multiple people for some of you because the card that came out is the king of pentacles virgo capricorn taurus does not have to be this energy but this is a person that represents stability someone who has their shit together not only does this person have their shit together you're having a passionate new beginning you're celebrating something here with passion and chemistry and intimacy and physical boom boom <laughs> but at the bottom of the deck I have this king of cups you're like oh there's another knight I mean another king there's another court card so you're sitting here thinking to yourself like someone here is offering you serious stability and then you're being challenged by someone else let me see what's going on or in your mind you're thinking about someone else let me see what else is going on here what's the nine of swords in reverse and the five of swords and this is why it is it is that because you have the five of swords here in your advice position this is the bittersweet card you have to let go of something or someone you have to sacrifice something and not stress anymore or ruminate over it all right let's see what else is going to come out page of swords there's your seven of pentacles again and the knight of cups and strength in reverse and death okay this person that's been resisting you that you had an ending with um they've been stalking you all this while looking at you um because they too were doing the same thing you were doing they were pausing and reflecting and they were looking at something um for some of you, it could be even talking about you. You've you've done the work. You've gotten your information. You stalked or you can stalk. You paused and reflected as much as you can. And it's now to make some kind of offer, some kind of gesture on an emotional level. Flip. This could be your person. Uh, checking you out, Leo. Stalking you all this while. And I've been telling you, the way the planets are shifting, you are looking like a rock star these days. Okay? So people are checking you out. Um... And they have been thinking about the time and energy that they spent with you or time that they've invested with you. And now an offer is coming your way. And Spirit's like saying, listen, you just have to sacrifice one thing. Just move on, okay? Just make a choice. Do the new thing, whatever that is. Get out of your head, Nine of Swords, and move forward with this. You've gotten as much information 
as you possibly can. Someone here is no longer resisting you that you had an ending with where you were third party situation. All right, let's continue and see what's going on here for your outcome. Lover, the King of Swords, Death, also Scorpio energy here. We have all the Earth signs. We have Gemini. We have Leo like you and uh, Scorpio if you wanted me. Oh, plus air signs. They're all kind of here. Um, these energies are all over the place, but moreover, the common thread is this. What is this outcome here with the lover? This is the one thing that's challenging you, is this lover, okay? That was breadcrumbing you in the past uh, that you had an ending with. Ten of Swords, Two of Cups. There was an ending and a betrayal between you and a partnership. You gave your heart. You gave your soul. This person went to someone else. And this is what the burden was for you this whole entire time. And this is the thing that made you unhappy uh, or is. So it's in the future position. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to just rip off the band-aid because I want you to be prepared, Leo. There, this is a partnership, the Two of Cups, but it ended in betrayal. It ended in a backstab. It ended, or it will end, and this is really the lover. Lover is not somebody you're married to. They're not your husband or your wife, okay? They're not your boyfriend or your girlfriend. This person over here in the center of your reading is offering you something solid, but it is a passion new beginning. This lover over here, on the other hand, is somebody who could have betrayed your partnership or ended your partnership or will this lover okay and this is not going to make you happy but i need you to understand at the bottom of the other deck is the sun in the upright position now this thing is what's burdening you this thing is what's holding you back or will because again it's in the future position so it's something to think about because this is something you're carrying as a big load on your back all right and you don't want it to now guys this is a weekly reading obviously things change so you do have some interesting offer coming your way you do have to make a sacrifice of some kind uh unfortunately i don't know if it's the lover uh you let me know down below what's going on here with leo worth waiting for you know, your angel, Oracle cards is, they see what we do down below, okay? And they see all and they know all. So when you pull an Oracle card, the Oracle card is expressing to you what's for your greatest and highest good. It's more like advice because they know what's good for you, all right? And they're telling you it's worth waiting for. At the bottom of the deck is make an effort. I'm starting to suspect that they're talking about this person that's going to bring you stability let's get some cards uh from the advice position others of you sure maybe it is the lover what do i know worth waiting for it there's no extended for you guys yet i just want to build up your cohort once i start have a steady stream of at least 2000 views i'm going to start doing the extended videos and in the extended videos uh, we go into your person, their thoughts for you, their intentions towards you, the actions that they will take, etc. Um, I'm only doing extended right now for only Aries and Taurus. So if you want to cross check, cross read, you can see they're extended. Worth waiting for. Grove. Okay. And fragment. Interesting. So this is telling me, guys, right now you feel broken, you feel fragmented, and you feel like you're never going to be whole again. You feel like you're never going to be able to be glued together again, and you're just not going to be you, who you were before all of this. You are. And Spirit's saying the way that's going to happen for you is the grove. The grove represents something where it's kind of like your cell phone. When you recharge your cell phone, you plug it in, 
there's a place for all of us human beings for us to recharge to plug in our own personal batteries so we can move on in life other of us have to take action like meditating other of others of us have to go to our special place our happy place i don't know if that's a spa <laughs> i don't know if that's the park i don't know if that's uh i don't know springs or like something like that for you whatever your happy places a garden your backyard you need to go there to recharge but i am going to quickly read um for those of you that are interested in what the actual meaning is that spirit wants you to hear the goddess of night invite you to the grove to heal your wounds and mend your heart now is the time to apologize to anyone you have harmed make your friendships whole again and choose healing over anger and pain choosing my beautiful grove is a powerful sign that you're at a wondrous strong time in your life show compassion and kindness to other no one is perfect yet imperfection is perfect as it is 